It's 8 in the morning. We're both still asleep. Pretty much still asleep. You want me to go in there? I'll go. You want me to go? I'll go in. What do you want? Breakfast sandwich? Yeah, sausage and eggs. Sausage and eggs? This is us going to the dang hospital. Talking to the, talking to the machine. Try to take the back roads and then the people jump in front of you and fuck up all your, your momentum. We used to take this back road, me and my dad, when we would work at some fucking school where they nearly killed me on the on the hijack lift jacking me up through the fucking ceiling joist. I would be scared if I worked with my dad doing sheet metal because he just scared the shit out of me. Shit he would do. It's kind of funny. somewhere closer but it's still pretty far away it's not really that far away but it's it's a clusterfuck now from what it used to be when i would drive out out here i don't know none of this shit anymore i used to could drive and navigate all over the fucking place but i haven't i haven't been in so long and everything's fucking all this new fucking shit all kinds of shit i don't recognize I like Austin better than Houston, but it's still kind of a nasty place. Houston's really nasty, though. I just, I can't say which one's a little, I guess Houston's nastier. This is a whole nother St. David's that I didn't, I didn't know existed. We went in there. Right there. He wants to use it. Yeah, we gotta go to another one. We're not that we're not at the right place. The lady said, I don't have no Watson. That's all maternity. <laughs> Bless you. I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I still don't. It kind of, maybe I do. Uh, dude, fuck all this. There's the damn city. Talking to the phone. Making video. Yeah, look at that northbound traffic. It's all blocked up there, buddy. This way. Yeah, it's nasty. couple years ago there was a guy that I don't know what it was I think he was pissed off about his taxes or something and he flew a plane into one of these buildings right here
good little train. Now we found it. At least I think we have. Yeah, that's the one I've been to. So that's the right one. I didn't know that we had these other ones on the list of ones we were going to. Now we're in here. We've made it somewhere. Central elevator. All right. Oh. We're going in the elevator. Fuck all this. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't like it at all. I think it sucks. Robert's got pneumonia. He's doing the best he can not to die. This is him in his hospital bed. Uh, this is pretty close to where we were. You know, that's been a lot of years ago. I got the pictures that came up from when we went in the first time because I'm wearing the eye patch. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be in there with all them. They had some sexy women at that hospital. Not so much over here. Yeah. Some weird. More like that. That's a lot of weird shit going on. There was a really strangely built old lady in a Porsche with about a gap like that. <laughs> no, she had kind of yeah, but it was it was it was a little mouth shaped and. Are your kidneys all right? No. Very large and it is of course. Are they failing? Or are they just messed up? Complications? I don't know enough about what the hell's I don't know, I don't know enough about what the hell's going on. Well, I brought the pyramid for you. Bring it home. Brought you the boot. I was going to bring your arrowhead, your spearhead, but I forgot. Then you could show it to the nurses, you know what I mean? Big, big, big word, yeah. Yeah, it's on the shelf. I'm glad you feel that. Yeah, I don't want that. I cleaned out uh, all your room. I went through all those papers that were in the front, and I got a bunch of them that are trashed the fuck out. I got to get another lighter so I can burn the trash. I got it completely full, and I can't do nothing. Hugo helped me. Well, he, he buffered up the, um, the porch. I just got to put the tin on the top of it, which I got. It started raining. It stormed real bad that 
that first night. But he dug some posts and put them on the side, so he wanted to stabilize it. For I said, fucking do it. I was like, I asked him. He said, do it, just do it. He said he wanted to do it, but I said, if you want to do it, do it. It's got a name, somebody's name. Alive, but he don't. He only looks three quarters alive. Twenty five percent alive. Everybody knows everybody. You can't go nowhere that he doesn't freaking know somebody, and he's gotta stop and shake hands with him. So we're sitting here at the front of the uh, hospital. My dad looks pretty bad, but I guess he's all right if he gets if he gets what he needs to get out of the hospital and he can be stable I can help him do whatever he needs to do to stay alive and I'm alright with that it's going to be difficult because of the money for a little while but oh well you know life's not about money as much as it is about all this crap 